The only thing worse than a cop who thinks he's above the law is a racist cop who thinks he's above the law. Today we're talking about racist police officers who made the mistake of a lifetime when they stopped the wrong citizens. Let's get right to the video. The first racist cop we're talking about is the one who started following a young man for no real reason. Naturally, the guy was curious about why cops were tailing him for so long, so he asked them. They told him it was because he had parked on the wrong side of the road. When he explained that he actually parked in front of his grandma's garage, the cops quickly switched their story up. They then claimed they stopped him because of the tint on his car windows. And if you think about it, it's pretty ridiculous. Do cops really have nothing better to do than to follow people around for such trivial reasons? reasons ignoring the important stuff they should be focusing on. What really happened here is that the cops saw that the guy was young and probably didn't know how to properly defend himself against them. They took full advantage of this to boost their own egos and to prove to themselves how powerful they are. They didn't just ask for his driver's license, they also demanded he get out of the car and told him to not put his hands in his pockets. Hello. How's it going? And I was like, y'all was following me the whole time. I had, uh, and I was all the way up there. I seen you following me by the uh, school. That's a And you never turned the lights on except this now, Foggy. You know what? Yeah, you got called on. Well, I was just in the area. So listen, the reason why I stopped is because the, the tent, this thing right here, the, the tent, tent, and, and you, uh, when, when you went, went to, to you know, Davis, Davis Loop, Loop yeah. Yeah. you parked, parked on the wrong side of the road. road. So I'm uh, right, right there where the house at? at? Yeah. yeah. That was my grandma house. I okay. parked right there. That was in the grass. No, no so, so but the, the reason why I stopped you is for the tent. tent. Okay. okay. So, so where, where, where are you heading? Uh, what's, what's up? What's up? I'll, 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 what's that? that? I'll, I'll talk that down for Yeah. yeah. So, so, can, can, can I, I talk to you outside? outside? Here's, here's your stuff back, by the way. Yeah, pause. No, it's okay. Hey. All right. So, so, listen, listen. Do, do you have anything? Don't, don't put your hands in your pocket. Do you have anything inside the vehicle? No, oh, sir. At all, sir. You, you don't have, have any any any, any, any weapons, anything at all? all? Nothing. Okay. I'm playing. What's that? Nothing in the car. I'll try. All right. So there's nothing going to be in the car? No, sir. I'll try. All right. You, you mind if I look at it? Yeah. Alright, he's trying to search the car. I don't know what he's trying to like. So, can, you can you hang out with them? Yeah, yeah, I got. Yeah, yeah. like. Alright. We'll go ahead and fight Sam. Alright, can you, can you, can you, can you, you stay up against everyone? Let's see. Alright. Yeah, up here. What's up, girl? Look, my window tape is screwed all over. Look. But no, I feel it, but I just, I can't stand this harasser. Because everything is legit on my car here, my license, and my tent is legit. So what's the problem? That's actually not legit. Honey, I got it done professionally. I made sure it was illegal. I'm not saying it didn't. Okay, but I made sure. Okay. However, the situation took a turn when the guy's mom showed up. She knew exactly what was going on and told the cops that the tint on the car was totally legal because she had someone paid for it. She then asked the cops to show her what was wrong with the tint. Caught in a lie, one cop started making excuses, saying that tints don't look good on most cars. But the woman wasn't interested in other cars. She asked the cop to show her what was wrong with her car specifically. When the cops realized they couldn't criticize the tent, they reverted to their original claim about parking on the wrong side. But the guy's mother had a point here. She asked why they didn't stop him right where he had parked if that was the real issue. Instead, they had followed him for a distance. The cops then came up with another excuse, saying they had received a radio call and couldn't stop him sooner. Did they really think someone would believe these lies? Let's call the guy, because I have his card. I made sure it was illegal. All right, bud. And so, I've been had this tent right, on right. here for at least three years. All right, ma'am. I okay, never got stopped by. I'm talking. Hold okay, on. Okay, can you hang I out over there? I never got stopped for a reason. All right. Sorry, for next week. So, so listen. Yes, let's play. It's on the floor. Uh huh. All right. Sir, can I talk to you? Everything's good. Oh, show me. Okay. Show me. So I'm gonna give you a verbal warning. This is not past this line. The AS1 line is like right here. Where? Where's the line? Show me the line, On sir. Most cars, it's right here. Okay, you say yeah. most cars. Can you show me the Listen, line? Look how far. Can you show? Look how that's far what I asked you. Can you show me the off. line? Ma'am. Okay, well I will go and get it off. I will go because you're not okay. showing me the line that's though. Take you making you making stuff up. You're not, not showing me the line. Look so where's the line? So, show me the line. So that's what I'm asking. 
So, I stopped him because he parked on the wrong side of the road. Uh-huh. Okay. Where at? Where? Hold on. It, it, that's, that's not my house. So, how, okay. why you just didn't ask? Okay. You parked on the I parked there every day. He was dropping something off. So, why didn't you stop me there? Why didn't you pull exactly. off and then want to Because I stopped you as soon as you hit the road. Listen, I'm not But why you just didn't know? I don't, oh, I don't try to hear that shit. Why you didn't stop right there if that was the problem? Why did you pull off? Because I have to call it out of the radio and let you could have You could have stopped right there and called it off. The car, okay. You could have stopped right, right there and called it off. That's why I said, y'all are full of it. Why didn't you stop me there? Why did you exactly. pull off and then want to stop Because I stopped you as soon as you hit the road. Listen, I'm not going to But why you just didn't know? I, I don't, oh, 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 I don't try to hear that shit. Why you didn't stop right there if that was the problem? Why did you pull off? Because I have to call it out of the radio and let you could have You could have stopped right there and called it off. You could have stopped right there and called it off. That's why I said, y'all are full of it. Luckily, this mom was a real expert in the law. I bet the cops regretted stopping this guy the moment they began talking to her. It's about time someone put these cops in their place. The guy's mother told them straight up not to make things up because nobody is foolish enough to fall for it. She was spot on. You don't need to be a psychologist to see how much these cops were making up the whole story and turning a simple solution into something overly complicated. Adding to that, she pointed out she parks her car in that same spot every day, right where it's now suddenly claimed to be illegal because she grew up in that house. It seems Seems like the cops wanted to just pull this guy away from his house where there were lots of people around so they could be alone with him and push their authority. And it worked. The guy was terrified out all alone out there. And how could he not be? He hadn't done anything wrong, yet he was surrounded by several cops. However, when they saw they couldn't bully him the same way with his mother there, the cops changed their tune. They decided to let him off with just a verbal warning this time. But it was clear to everyone that this guy's mom had put them in their place so effectively they were left with nothing more to say. They probably just wanted to get out of there as quickly as possible considering how she called out their bluff. Yeah, why did you exactly. pull off and then want something Because I stopped you as soon as you hit the road. Listen, I'm not But why you just didn't know? I, I don't, oh, I don't try to hear that shit. Why you didn't stop right there if that was the problem? Why did you pull off? Because I have to call it out of the radio and let You could have you could have stopped right there and called it off. The cops, okay. You could have stopped right, right. there and called it off. That's why I said y'all are full of it. Okay. So I, why you didn't why you didn't him, stop? I'm not, I'm I'm not, not, I understand that you didn't have no reason to. What I'm asking you, why you didn't stop him right there in front of my grandma house? In my in front of my mom's house. Because like I said, I had to call it out. Why you didn't call y'all come on, you can call it in any. You didn't have to ride off to call it in. Okay. You could have called it in I'm right there. I'm giving him a verbal warning for this uh -huh. incident. I'm not uh -huh. giving him a citation. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. It wouldn't matter if you did, it was gonna get paid. But it. anyway, why you didn't call it? Listen, let me tell you something, okay? Any problem you have with this car, this one here. You call it in right there. Park right there. Y'all be over there at that park every day. Y'all see all type of criminal stuff happen, and y'all don't even do your job. But all, right. all of a sudden, y'all want to do something today. What is the problem? This was just a simple traffic stop. So, okay, right. well, make sure y'all park over there every day, and when y'all see other stuff going on over there, make sure y'all take care of those problems, too. See where it says AS1? I'm going to make sure and go to get changed. And other than that, do we have a problem with this car? It looks a little dark, but it's it's the same exact it's the same exact number. You can see right through here, sir. You can see right through my window. You can see. I have, can you see through the window, or do you need glasses? Come on, yo, dude, yo, is you is so full of shit. I didn't see a tent darker than this. Hell, my tent probably the same as yours. Okay, but I didn't had this car for over three years. You never stopped me, and I didn't been pulled over several times. Nobody said nothing. He didn't be, he, uh, no, it probably was him. Yeah. I know one of y'all know because y'all, you, you, y'all yeah. come up with new laws new, every day. Y'all law. come up with new laws new every day. Law. Well, I'm going to make sure I go take This cop pulled over a man for driving a truck claiming he was investigating a case about a missing kid. But really, what did this have to do with the man in the truck? There was no evidence he was involved or had seen anything relating to the crime. However, the cop quickly switched up his story, saying now he had gotten a call about a noisy truck in the area, and it had to be this man since he was the first truck driver to come along. But that story didn't add up either. It would make more sense if the truck that was making noise had left 20 minutes before, not just arrived. It seemed like some explanations only make sense to the cops. Regardless, the cop then moved on to the 
the real reason he had stopped the man. He asked for his ID to complete his report and let him go. Again, the man wasn't legally required to comply with this. Nonetheless, the cops started to threaten him, which is something a lot of cops do when people don't follow their orders right away. The cop even claimed he could write the man a ticket for obstructing the police. Yet any cop who's really doing his job knows that obstructing the police is a secondary offense, and you can't just issue a simple ticket for it. Felt like the cop was just trying to scare the man into doing what he wanted without any real legal basis. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna record it while we're talking, so we are, all right, because when, when an officer come to a driver, for whatever reason, I just stopped my truck. I see you when you're passing, you look back at my truck, like 20 minutes ago, you never, I see you, and you look back at my truck. You pass here 20 minutes ago there, and you stop right there, wrong or right? Sir, you don't know what you're talking about. I passed through looking for a missing juvenile 20 minutes okay. ago, which I located. Okay, it has nothing to okay. Do with you. okay, I understand, and I get it. But you passed 20 minutes ago, right? Like 20 something minutes ago, I see you passing and look back on the truck. My truck was a start when you're passing, right? Are you, are you implying I'm harassing you, sir? I'm sorry? Right there. Noise complaint 3926 Nazis. But that's not me. Okay. How they said a truck idling. You're the first truck I see when I come this way. I'm going to do a you're, lap. You're, but you passed me before. Let me talk. Let me talk. No, I didn't see you. When I come through <laughs> and see. Boy, okay. if there's more trucks, believe it, I'm going to stop them as there, well. There was okay. another truck passed early, and it going that way. There's a yellow truck. Okay. But I don't know if he was making delivery. I'm not here watching these people. I'm, 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 only thing I know, I come, yeah. I take my stuff out of the shopping cart. If you look, all this stuff right there. Okay, I believe you. Can I get your ID? For what? For my report? No, then sir. They, I will never go. give you nothing for me, sir. Okay, I'm, I'm ordering you to give me an no, ID. No, you will not get my ID, sir. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I'm, I'm stepping out. See? You see this right here? Shopping card. Okay? That's not the problem. Say, look. Park here. Okay. Do you that's, see that's this, right? Okay. Do you see this? Look right here. Do you see this? Home Depot. That's I bought a drill. That doesn't matter. You see this? Walmart. Okay? I don't need to give him my ID. Okay, for I got, nothing. I got called. You're not, not for me. Here. Not for me. Okay. Not for me. I could technically give you a citation if I like to. For what? I'm not doing that. For, I mean, for all what? I'm asking for is your ID. So I will not give him my ID, report, sir. And then you can leave. I would not give him my ID for no. Re you don't. I, I never do no arm, no crime, nothing there's, at all, sir. There's signs here that say you, trucks can't idle. No. Idle. I wasn't idle here. You, your car was on, my guy. I was right about to move when you stopped me. But it was idling. I have to. Although this man made it clear to the cop that he wasn't going to fall for any tricks and handed over his ID, the cop didn't just let him go. His ego was far too big for that, and he told the man to wait right there. When the cop came back to him for the second time, he returned to the story about a missing child who had ran away. The man explained that, at the time the child was said to have disappeared, he was at the market buying groceries. He even offered to show the cop his receipt to prove it, but the cop just told him he trusted that he hadn't done anything wrong, so why was he still there? Moreover, the cop just had had to have the last word and ended up spoiling everything he had said before. He advised the man to be more cooperative and calm when talking to the cops in the future. But really, what was this cop expecting? Did he want the man to bring him chocolates and shower him with compliments even though he had approached him so poorly and even threatened his civil rights? It was pretty clear to the man that this was all just racial profiling filled with prejudice by police. If I go to the shopping store and I leave I'm, my truck on. I'm being straight, as straight as I can with okay. you. I showed you there was a call. Sir. Would you I'm not the, call, sir. sir. I showed sorry. you there was a call. Sir. I'm telling you, I'm just going to I will not go. give him my ID. Okay, hang on. I need to do nothing. I, you come right here harassing me and say I was have a truck idling. That wasn't me. You need to check Home Depot. I have a Home Depot bag right here, see? So apparently there was another call for a truck, but it's not about my truck. An hour ago. Okay. Um, like I said, I've, I've been straightforward with you, man. I got it. If you saw me 20 minutes ago, it's because I picked up a juvenile that ran away. Okay. Well, I'm I, wasn't looking, you. I wasn't looking for trucks. Okay. When I saw you 20 minutes ago, I go over there go get my food. Okay. If you can, I got yeah. my receipt. I got everything yeah. in my truck. 
I gotta prove. No, I, I believe you. I, I don't come that's here. That's fine. You can stop. You just have to turn it off, though. You can't have an island. It wasn't on. Was when it I off when I, you shot? No, I, I'm not gonna leave my truck running, boss. Well, a lot, a lot of people do. Mike. Yeah, I'm not gonna but, uh, do that. Like I said, this technically you can't leave an island, uh, even if you're in the. Just hear me out. Uh, it, it could be a parking violation. I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna hit me up. Um, and I talked to another officer. He's like, yeah, when I was here an hour ago, there was no truck. So. Story checks out. You're here in less than 30 minutes. I see the bags. You're good. Um, okay. Listen, in the future, just talk calm, man. You don't got to come at me. I, I didn't come at you. Police, police. You accused me of being hostile. Why not? And you, I showed I'm you a, proof. I'm a, I'm a black man. You a white man, officer. And, I, and when, when, I, get, I, I, when, I, when, when I go, when I, when I, I see too much white police kill black people. So I'm scared, too. So. I'm hey, apologize. Look, I, I know what's going on virally and everything, but so, talk calm, man. Yeah, well, I'm apologize, but I <laughs> just have cool. to make sure that... Uh, Apology accepted, all right? So I'm not trying to be an upstart person. Whether. When I see white police stop me for, come to me for something for no reason, it get me panicked. So yeah. Okay. We all good. I got my baby mom on the phone, okay. too. How you so doing? I, <laughs> I, I just want to make sure that, you know what I'm saying? When I see a white police come to me for no reason, I wasn't here. What up? Go get my food. There was a truck over there. Party. There was another one right here. It was a uh, truck store here. So, okay. and I come and I buy. Okay, let me get a lot of plans because there's residents there. So, oh, which is well, why we have the no parking okay. and no idling. So, well, I'm apologize. I'm no, out. you're good. I'm out. So, uh, all right. Yep. Are you gonna get out here then? Yes, sir. Right. Have you ever noticed how some cops seem to make up laws on the spot when it suits them? Take for example this cop who walked up to a man sitting in the car with his kids. Out of nowhere, he started asking the man for his name. Naturally, the man asks why the cop needed this information, but the explanation he got was quite astonishing. The cop claimed that there was a new law that had just been passed allowing cops to ask anyone for their ID based on demographics. However, the man was well aware that no such law existed, and even if it did, it would clash with constitutional rights. What's even worse? The kids in the car were scared out of their minds. They asked their dad if he was going to be arrested. It's heartbreaking to think that children have to witness such situations. Cops shouldn't be causing such distress. This man was merely sitting in a parking lot with his children waiting for someone, and here was the cop wasting their time with made-up laws. Then he got upset when people didn't believe his fabricated rule. How could he expect anyone to believe such nonsense? When the cops realized that the man wasn't buying his act, he had no choice but to back off and leave them alone. They should be there to protect and serve, not to intimidate and invent reasons to hassle ordinary citizens, especially in front of their children. Just checking the parking lots, man. Make sure you guys are doing okay. Yeah, we're doing good. Yeah. Okay, man. What's your name? Uh, for what? I'm just contacting you. I just have to. So you have to. A, so there's a law that just came out. Okay. To where anybody I contact, even if it's consensual, I have to get your demographics that I can really see that I contacted you. Yes. No. That's not the law. Yes, it is. No. Nope. With Senate Bills 217. No, this is passed. not a this is not a stop an ID state. <laughs> okay, so I have to say that I did contact you. Okay. Good. You you say that. And also, when I run the plate, okay. it's coming back with a warrant hit. Mm, okay. So I just want to make sure that you're not the person. And I'll, nope, I'll, not the person. So can I get your name? No. And why not? Well, this is first you said that you have to ID me. No, you don't. Yes, I do. This is not a stop and ID state. Says who? Um, what do you mean says who? It's a law. It's a law, so the sir. law states now that I anybody I contact. Okay. I need to get an ID so I can say that I contacted you. No, I don't think so. That's yes, not the is. law. This is private property, sir. It is not. It is a public parking lot. No, this is private property. It is a public parking lot. I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. I'm sorry. That we're gonna get arrested. Yeah, you're scaring. You're scaring my kids. This, there's, there's no point of this. You know, this is this okay, is ridiculous. Well, wouldn't have to scare if you were cooperative. Well, no, no, no. It, it this, that's not. That's totally. That's. I... That's just ridiculous, man. That's just ridiculous. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, man. Sorry for what? For being uncooperative? Oh, no. I'm just not going to, like, I'm just not going to give you all this free information for nothing. We're just sitting here. We're not doing anything wrong. We're waiting for somebody. Okay, we're, and like I said, when I ran the plate, it came okay. back with the warrant hit, and I want to make sure it's not Sorry, you. it's not me. Yeah, it's how, not do me. I, how do I know that? Because I don't I'm know sorry. Your it's not me. I don't know. Because I don't, I don't know, know your name. You. Until I can get your name. I'm sorry. I'm not the type of person who releases my name like that. Name? No, absolutely not. No, I'm sorry, bud. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna put it in Okay. All right, sir. Have a good. You day. have a good day too.
One male and one female cop thought they could just show up at this man's door to hand him some papers. But what really caught the man's attention wasn't the papers, it was the fact that he had a really bad run-in with these same two cops a few months back. He'd even recorded the incident and posted it on his YouTube channel to show how poorly these cops treated ordinary people. Just a few months after he exposed them, here they were again at his door without any warrant, trying to hand him some papers illegally. If this man had caught them behaving badly twice in just a few months, you have to wonder about their usual behavior and how many people might have suffered at their hands. The man didn't hold back. He straight up told them he didn't want to listen to them or accept any papers from them. You should have seen the looks on the cops' faces before they realized they were dealing with the same guy who had caught them on camera before. The whole situation sheds light on the power dynamics and how important it is for citizens to know their rights and stand up against abuses of power. Who are you, Dan? Um, so I'm PC person for the Fisher. Um, station. On, station. Uh, from Pridewell Police Station. PC, well, I've met you before, haven't I? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you did. You yeah. Be, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm <laughs> right. Sweet. Yeah. Long time. So you gonna? What is that? Um, so what I've got for you now. So is that is you gonna attempt to tuition me a CPW? Yes. Just yeah. bear in mind. That, were you with this gentleman when we interacted in town? Um, I'm not sure which time you're. I've do you remember the time? I've met you before. Yeah. Was it so. to do with the litter warden? Um, this isn't relation to... That was a few, quite a few months ago, wasn't it? But I'm just asking, is that the time that we, we, you and I interacted when you were with this gentleman uh, here? I've, yeah, I've really, inter uh, I've really interacted with you there. Because you're both on my... You're literally both on my channel telling oh, yeah. me... Te informing me that... Um, uh, anyway, I'm um, not willing... Just, just, just for the record... I'm not willing to listen to you. I'm not willing okay. to take accept that piece of paper. Okay. I, I don't consent at all, okay? It's illegal, it's unwarranted. If you bear with me one second, I'll go to my car and I'll get paperwork from the MPCC, which explains that my conduct is allowed. Do you wanna wait there one second? My okay. car's just there, just wait there one second, all right? Yeah. Just, just stay there one second, all right? These rookie cops tried to excuse themselves by saying they were only there because their seniors on the job had ordered them to be. Their big mistake was thinking they could just barge into the man's house without a warrant when all they were supposed to do was hand over some papers. However, the female cop tried to wiggle out of the situation by saying that the man can file a complaint against anyone at any time as if to shift the focus of their actions. She was clearly trying to play the role of the good cop now, trying to avoid getting called out again for bad behavior like what had happened before when she ended up on a YouTube video for the wrong reasons. The man didn't miss a beat and gave this female cop a piece of his mind. He told her that this situation was exactly what separates a good cop from a bad one. Just because a bad cop gave her orders to deliver these questionable papers, basically a reprimand for filming in public, didn't mean she had to follow through. She had the choice to be a good cop by not bringing the papers. Everyone has a right to record whatever they want, right? That's the whole point. By showing up with these papers, it was almost like she was threatening his constitutional rights. What do you think about that? Yeah. Quick yeah, no, no, but I just want you to take that before you attempt, because I, I, under, although I appreciate that you're just here based on what you've been told to come by your senior, right? But I need to inform you that it's not your senior that I'm going to raise the civil case against. It's going to be the person who's attempting to issue me with the paperwork. Now, okay. although I do, I genuinely I appreciate that your superior has told you to come here. Yeah. I'm protected by this. I'm also okay. protected by my human rights, so before you attempt it, if before you attempt to breach my rights and find yourself on the end of a civil claim, which you 100% will, yeah. I would suggest that you just take a minute. Okay, well, at, at the moment, in terms of this, so obviously you can make any complaint that you want by going online or calling in, um, and you've got our call, our call numbers. But you swore an attestation yeah. to uphold fundamental human rights, Constable. Oh uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. and, and one of my so one of well. my fundamental human rights yeah. is freedom of press, freedom of expression, the right to life. There's, in fact, there's more than one. Right, I'm allowed to do what I'm doing. Okay, I'm protected. But there's hundreds of thousands of hours of video footage online of people doing exactly the same as what I did. I've had this with you before. I've raised it with you before. I don't understand how hundreds of others can do the same thing as I. But only I get the CPW. Well, so it should not be like that. But it I is like no, no, no. But it is like that because why does why why am I being issued a CPW? Like I if, could if I could second, yeah. But let, let me I'll, let me just show I'll, you um, something. Let me show you something. Well, what I'll do quickly now, actually, is I, please don't read I'm, me that. 
Please don't read that to I me. Have to, I have no, no, no. I'm going to go in then. The I, I'm willing to have a conversation with you, but the moment you try to read that to me, or I'm going to be leaving, okay? And you've already read the sign on my door, which removes your implied rights of access, okay? So you're already going to find a, you're already going to receive a letter from HNK for breaching my human rights. I removed your implied rights of access. I haven't broken the law. You're not trying to serve me with paperwork because I've broken the law. You're trying to serve me with paperwork because you don't like what I'm doing, which is not the right thing to do okay so, so listen no 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 no. i will i am happy to have a conversation with you but the moment you start trying to read me that i'm going to close this door and go in and I this situation was tense right from the start because a cop didn't like that a man had decided to film their encounter as soon as he arrived but this raises a real question why would filming bother a cop does it mean he would have acted differently if the camera wasn't rolling then the cop tried to intimidate the man by saying that he was filming him too as if it was supposed to scare him or something. However, the man calmly informed him that that was completely fine, pointing out that everyone has a right to record in public. Despite this, the cop felt he hadn't shown enough authority, so he threatened to arrest the man for not cooperating. The man was unfazed and basically told the cop to go ahead and arrest him if he could. Do you think the cop arrested him? Well, of course not. Cops like this are usually all talk. When it comes down to actually following through, they back down. Then the cop sergeant showed up and listened to the man's side of the story. However, he tried to defend his colleague by saying the passenger in the man's car wasn't wearing his seat belt. But really, cops should know better. Passengers aren't part of the traffic rate and shouldn't be involved in such disputes. Plus, the passenger had only taken off his seat belt because they had been arguing with the cop for too long. I'm you, Don't I'm point at me. Jail. Take me to jail then. Take me right now. You might run that on other people, but you don't run it on me. Okay, well, you gotta have a lawful read like that. Say what you said again. You don't give a damn. Here, I'm recording. I don't care about you recording. Y'all can alter those. When you get here, we're gonna... Sir, we can't alter nothing. Yes, you can. Listen. Can you alternate, alter this phone? Yes, you can. Can I try altering your teeth. Guess what? You're going with me. Yeah, you get yeah. You. you might run that on other people, but you don't run it on me. Okay, well. You gotta have a lawful reason why, to arrest why, me. Why? Yeah. The traffic law can arrest you. Okay. I am going All right, tell me what law. Violation. Okay, what violation? I don't know you. You might What violation? I don't care about you knowing me. Okay. You're not supposed to know me. What law? Traffic law 10. Which one? That's an arrestable offense. Yes, sir. Any, what? Okay, any, name. Any okay, so name me the law. Any, name, name me the law that get you arrested yeah, for 10. No, I'm not. Because you don't know it. You're sitting here lying because you think you're going to intimidate somebody. I ain't trying to intimidate Yeah, you are. I'm telling you, don't I'm point at me. Jail. Take me to jail then. I am. Take me right now. You don't want to cooperate. No, it ain't, no, I'm not your dude. You a sergeant? How you doing, man? Are you a sergeant? My sergeant on the way. Okay, well, this dude right here, he's very disrespectful. He's been talking to me like I got on me. You don't want to give it his No, I told him I was going to give it to him, but he telling me I better do it. Because he said we can't do that. You can't. Why are you going to ID the passenger? He's not driving. You just took it off. You just said it was a brotherhood. Exactly. For law enforcement. Now imagine this scenario. Scenario. A man was out in broad daylight fixing a woman's front door and changing her lock. However, a cop saw this as a perfect opportunity to step in and accuse the man of trying to rob the house. The cop even doubted aloud whether the man really was a handyman or just pretending as part of a burglary attempt. I mean, seriously, does the cop really think that someone would be so bold as to break into a house in the middle of the day like that? The man kept his cool and suggested that the cop could easily verify his story by calling the homeowner and asking any of the neighbors. He told the cop he could do his checks and only approach him again or leave him depending on what he found out my business okay how do i know that you're not stealing the doors and that you're fixing the doors well call the lady right there investigate with her ask her what she what she saw and then come back to me and that's then... who called well somebody over here called you said that you're stealing the well doors. the lady next door okay Is that's who called i i suspect i don't know why did she say something yeah, she was out here yelling and screaming. I told her, call the police. What was she yelling and screaming about? <laughs> that, she, that she didn't want me to change the locks. I told her what I was... I told you what I'm doing. I'm changing the locks. Okay. Let me open this up here. He said you just hit the box. You won't buy, buy an ID. You won't tell us anything. I'm just protect. I'm protecting my rights. I know, my man. But it don't even that, gotta go that's, that far. That's it. All I'm asking for is ID. I'm it just. I'm, I'm just. Help, I'm, me, help, help me explain like a little bit more. Like what company are we working for? Like who sent you over here? That's it. Are you are you detaining me? Let me just go that route. <laughs> are you detaining me? So th this way I know what's going on.
it's your car to collect that one, or no, it's the van. Stealing that door too, huh? <laughs> I was stealing that door too, huh? I'm not. I'm here working, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Oh, okay. So. I don't know why you're trying to make it so difficult. But instead of doing that, the cop made a fuss about the man not immediately handing over his ID. To the cop, it seemed like a small issue, but for many people, it's a big deal because it feels like a threat. That's exactly why we have constitutional rights to protect us in such situations. The cop then pressed the man to just tell him who he was working for and which company had sent him, arguing that it would make things easier. But that's the whole point. The man didn't have to share those details if he didn't want to, especially when trying to protect his civil rights. Just because something seems obvious to the cop doesn't mean a citizen must give up their privacy and rights. It's about maintaining a balance between police doing their job and respecting citizens' freedoms. It's not difficult. I'm protecting my rights. You you want to violate my rights? What is violating your rights? You're, you're at an abandoned house. I, I don't know if you're taking the door. I don't know if you're fixing the door. I that told you what I told you what I was doing. Okay. I was, and I'm just supposed to take your word for it, right? I'm not up to no good. I, I don't know you're that. taking her word for it. What, what, what am I doing? Taking her word for it. I mean, you, you're yeah. obviously asking me so many questions. Yeah. So I, I'm, I get called here on someone taking doors off. That's why I come here. Okay? All right. Do you see any doors off? That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. Well, sure. you, you investigate the do door, door, door. All doors are right. there. So we're trying to figure out why you why, why you are here. It, it doesn't matter. You. It, it doesn't matter that you're on. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's, are, are you? It's a vacant house. Did you? It's a vacant house, correct? Are you upholding? Okay. It's listen, a vacant house. You're law enforcement, right? You got. You got. You uphold the Constitution, right? First Amendment, Fourth Amendment, Fifth Amendment. I'm not going to provide ID. Absolutely not. I didn't break the law. Now, if I if I broke the law. Are you are you asking for ID? Are you demanding ID on the threat of arrest? Something like that? No, I wanted your oh, okay. ID. Okay. I wanted your ID, uh, so then we can call the accessors office, find out who owns this, and uh, see if you're. You can you you can still call the accessors office, do the investigation, but call I, the accessors I, office. You have the address. I call need them. You, I need to know who you are, so I can make sure that you're allowed to be here. What would the assessor tell you? Well, assessor doesn't know what's going on. He's still talking to the owner of the house. Okay. And then what? And then I contact the owner. Okay. And then I well, then to do that, do your investigation. Come back. Right. I'll be here. So, so then he'll be like, "Yeah, I gave permission to blah 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 to be here, but I don't know who you are." Well, if they gave someone permission to be here. Then yeah. you're it doesn't matter. But how do I know that's you? It doesn't matter. Oh. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue working. So, you you guys do your investigation. Okay. Another incident with a racist cop occurred when the guy was just walking through his neighborhood one morning. The cop stopped him and asked if he lived nearby, making a mistake of a lifetime by doing so. The guy, not wanting to share any information, refused to answer, and the cop detained him. Here's the ironic part. Just a few minutes before this, the guy had encountered another cop from the same department who had let him go without any issue. How is it possible that the cops stopped the same guy twice within just five minutes of simply walking around? I mean, do cops really think this kind of behavior is okay? They never even explained why they approached him twice. What's wrong? What do I do, officer? You have some ID? No, sir. No? Okay. No, sir. You live around here? Yeah, I live down the road. Where are you? What's your address? I don't feel like I don't, I don't have to tell you that. Okay, right now you are detained. For what okay. reason, sir? The other officer told me. How? I detained. just spoke to him. He said I wasn't detained. He just told me that you are detained. For what reason? All right. I don't know. I just showed up. No, you have to you have a reason to me. detain me. But right now you are detained. You have to give me a reason. Do you have reason? any weapons on you? No, sir. Do you have any ID on you? No, sir. Do you have no ID? Sir, why am I being detained? I'll let you know that here in a second. What's your last name? I don't need to tell you all that, sir. My right as an American citizen to walk 
without being harassed. You're not being harassed. Yes, I'm being harassed. You just pulled over with your lights. You just yes, turned them on me and detaining me. He just pulled me over and said, you're not being detained, sir. He asked me a few questions. He's like, what are you doing? And he this, just told I, me. I told him the same thing I told you, sir. I'm walking by. It's early morning. It's nice outside. That other guy? No, I'm by myself. Look at me. So you don't know that other guy? No, sir. What other guy? What are you talking about? I'm walking right here, sir. I'm trying to walk, just enjoy my morning without being harassed. This is the second time, yeah, a cop pulls me over today, just walking. Tell me that's not being 14, harassed. 15. Talk to you on NCIC. Tell me that's not being harassed. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to walk down that road. It's a, main, it's a busy road. So, man, I know the reason for being detained. I'm getting that, in, that reason for you right now. Okay. You're more than happy to record. We're all recording right now. I know, sir. It's fine. There's nothing, there's no, nobody's breaking the law here. Except the person. Again, I just pulled up. I'm just doing what the other officers asked me to do. And it's weird because no he, he just pulled up. I'm walking. He pulled up. Uh, hey, sir, what's your name? Where do you live at? Like, what does that matter? You going to stop everybody that's walking? I don't feel pretty free now. Well, not right now. You're not. Free, feel pretty free, uh, freaking detained for yeah. walking. So what law has been broken that y'all detaining Did people walking? Yeah, but what law is broken, being broken that y'all detaining people walking? Did you not just hear me? You don't know? I said that I just pulled up. I don't know what's going on. What did this guy do that was so bad it warranted any kind of action? What about the actual criminals that are out there that the police aren't doing anything about? Yet here they are, pulling over a guy who did nothing wrong not once but twice. After everything that happened, someone really needs to teach this cop that there needs to be a legitimate reason for detaining someone. To try to justify his actions, the detaining cop shifted the blame to the first cop he encountered, claiming that he had instructed him to detain the guy. But how does that make sense if the first cop had already let him go? Did he change his mind? and send his colleague to hassle the guy? If you find this confusing, you're not alone. Just imagine how the guy felt, probably completely baffled by the whole situation. All I know is the other officer gave me your description and told me that you're detained. That's it. Detain him a Hispanic walking around. It has nothing to do that you're Hispanic. Well, that's what he said. That's the description, right? Because that's yeah, what he... Blue jeans and a dark green hooded jacket. Because uh, earlier he's like, oh, you match the description, Hispanic hat. The oh, fuck? Who said that? The other officer that he just he just pulled me over. He just harassed me, just okay, like. Well, he, I wasn't. Was I that other officer? No. No. Now you're a new officer harassing me walking down the road. It's not harassment. You, it is. How is it harassment? Because I'm walking down the street and I can't even walk down the street comfortably. I can't wake up in the morning and just decide to go for a walk without I would being detained for I don't know what reason. Again, I'm trying to get you that. But you're not listening. I know you're trying to get a reason, but there ain't no reason. Y'all trying to come up with the reason. There's no reason. Again, I'm not going to go back and forth. It's a broken record with you. <laughs> it's a broken record because I'm just trying to go for a nice morning walk, sir. I mean, just fear, just look at it if you were in the other way. You know you would feel harassed. You're walking down the road. Look at how many people looking over here. Look, we're walking not out here to violate people's rights. Alright. So what's going on then? Again! I don't know how many times <laughs> you don't I can know. tell you. I don't have a freaking clue. <laughs> Not a freaking clue. I'm guessing that guy must be out here to violate people's rights. Negative. So what's the other officer's problem? The other officer's on his way here. And he can give you a lot better answer than I can. He was just right there. He just pulled me over. I just spoke to him. And I was way up over there, so I have no idea. I just spoke to him, so I, you know, I understand how you're saying you're not being harassed, but this officer just pulled me to the side, and now you're pulling me to the side with your lights because on. He asked me to. And here comes the other officer. Tell me that's not harassment. And there you go. There's your answers. Tell me that's He's not harassment. Get you your answers. Thank you, sir, but tell me that's not harassment. It's not harassment. So what's going you on? You live in this neighborhood, right? I live down the street, yeah. Okay. I don't know you. I don't know I where know. you live. You don't know me, I don't know you, but you don't need to know. 
However, this cop was so clueless that he actually admitted on camera that he had no idea why he detained the guy. That really says a lot about the kind of service we're getting. Then another cop showed up and asked the guy where his wallet was, but he didn't explain why he needed to know either. Things escalated when the cop decided to pat down the guy, slapping his hands against the guy's face. Interestingly, this was the same cop who had let the guy go earlier in the morning because he supposedly couldn't fit him in the car. So what changed now that he suddenly could fit him in the car? The whole situation was just baffling. Keep your wallet on you have your ID? I have my wallet, why, right, sir? Turn and put your hands right here. Why? Where Am I being detained? Just turn and put your hands right no, here. No, but for what reason? Hey, where's your wallet, dude? In my back pocket. I you do not tell consent me to get... search. I do not consent for nothing. Hey, listen, man. What's your last name? I don't need to tell you. It's I, Isaac Gonzalez, right? I, I have right? the right to walk around with, 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 without being harassed. Are you Isaac Gonzalez? It doesn't matter who's who. You, I don't have to tell you my name. All I have are broken. I'm just walking around. It's so understand we can do things off of reasonable suspicion. The fact that you and your brother dip me into a house and then I drive by, y'all are saying that he's got this BS story about the car overheating. I go by, I park, y'all start to back out, I pull up, and y'all slam on y'all's brakes, y'all pull back further up into the driveway. And then hold on. And then you hop out and you start walking around like a lookout. So that's reasonable suspicion. Based off that, you are being detained. At this point, you are detained. Earlier, you weren't detained because I couldn't put you in the vehicle. But now your brother tells me that you're in the vehicle. And you match your description like I told you before. I'm walking. So at this point, no. At this point, you are detained. So I need your name and date of birth. If you fail to give me your name and date of birth, you will go to jail for failed ID. You understand me? So I'm being detained for breaking one law? It's not about breaking a law. It's reasonable suspicion. So what is reasonable your name suspicion to, birth? to what? What is your name? What's risk you, no do you really want to play this? One? Do you want to play this game? No, with I me? want to know what's the, like. What's the uh, I suspicion? I just explained it to you, man. Like, what are you suspicious about? Over and over. Listen, and over. you're about to be put in handcuffs, and you're gonna be hauled off to jail. And when I fingerprint you, I'll figure out who you are. Well, what am I doing wrong, though? Do you mind if I make a phone call? You don't need to make a phone call. I've told you, based off a of reasonable suspicion, you the mind fact him? that you're going onto someone's property and hiding from me. I'm not. I'm walking down the road. What was the purpose? You were in, in the, the vehicle, house. man. May, may I put my wallet in my pocket? Just have it like this out here. Where's your ID, man? You told me you had an ID on you. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You said it was in your wallet. No, I said my wallet's in my back pocket. You said, where's your wallet? I could replay the video if you'd like. What is your name, man? Your brother just drove off so much for his car overheating. Despite all this, the guy still didn't want to hand over his ID. And this really frustrated the cop, who then accused the man of hiding something. Could you believe that? It's not like cops need to know everything about everyone. Yet the cop decided the guy was lying and took him to the police station to identify him through fingerprints. If this isn't harassment, I don't know what is. Tell me, what would you do if you were in this guy's shoes? Would you give in to pressure and hand your information over to the cops? I don't know who you're talking Why about. Are what you are you talking brother? about? Why are you lying? Sir, I'm just walking down the you're road. Just down yes, the I am, sir. I'm not committing no crimes i'm not looking to do anything i'm just walking down the road i'm just trying to walk unharassed you're name? trying to harass me ask me it's me you, it man. is sir if it i could pull not. a million videos up on youtube and you can see how it is harassment I, and i'm a, I, i'm from here now if i was in mexico where shit like Listen, that goes down where it's crooked no and it's corrupted no ever but if I, if, 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 I, if i was else. if i'm right we're in america the land of the free right but it's so I'm free to walk. I'm car. not dipping at you. I'm you're, walking. You're in the passenger seat. Dude, I'm walking. I'm walking. I'm not in a car. You're not, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Am I not walking? Am I not here on the street walking down the street? Did you not pull me over already once? Harass me. Spoke to me. Let me go. Said I wasn't being no, a toy. Don't harass you. Called another officer to pull me over on this street. Because I was able to put so you all this car, all people, if they come out, they're gonna be like, look at this dude. Next time they see me walking, I can't even walk because everybody's gonna be like, hey, look, that dude must be up to something. You don't live the cops right are pulling him up. I said I live down the road. Doesn't matter where I live at, sir. As long as I'm not breaking no laws, you don't need to know nothing about Wait, me. Listen, based off of reasonable suspicion. But there's no suspicions to what? There is, because you pulled into. I'm walking, sir. Listen, man, I'm done playing with you. Okay, All sir. Necessary. If you have a classy warrant, I'm not worried about it. I just let your brother go on warrant. Okay, sir. I don't care about that, man. Okay, sir, look. So be honest. I'm just walking down the road. I'm being honest, no. sir. All right, man, I'm searching for your ID. For what reason? Well, I do not give you the sense of sense. You mind if I call my attorney? Where's your ID, man? You mind if I call my attorney, sir? Where's your ID? You mind if I call my attorney, sir? I'm just trying to go about my business, sir. I'm just trying to walk. Sir, you're pulling down my pants. You got one out of Wiley and one out of Cullen County. 
Oh, well, I apologize for that, sir, but I don't know. I'm just walking. I ain't trying to break no laws. Put your hands together. I told you, man, I didn't even mess with you over Class C Warren, man. But why are you trying to... Sir, I'm just running up, man. Put your hands down. We ain't up, I ain't up to nothing, dude. I mean, now... Hear, hear me out, dude. Hear me out. This time, a cop stopped a man because he noticed he was driving without wearing his seatbelt. Now, you don't need to be a lawyer to know that the most anyone could get for such a minor traffic violation is a ticket. But the cop decided to escalate the whole situation to a different level. He didn't just ask for the man's ID, he ordered him to get out of the car, claiming it was their policy to have everyone step out during a stop. This cop even rested his hand on his gun. When the man asked him not to do that because it made him feel unsafe, the cop said it was a comfortable position for him. Really? Such a shame. However, things took a turn when the cop noticed that there was a baby in the car with a man. He commented that his daughter was really cute, but that didn't justify letting her sit in the sun and heat just because he wanted to flex his authority. It's not right for anyone, especially a baby, to be put in such a situation over a simple seatbelt issue. The cop should have handled it quickly, allowing them to go on their way rather than drawing out the interaction unnecessarily and putting them at discomfort. Okay, For what? That's, that's not a... That's our policy, sir. Who's Listen, policy? Our trooper Scuss was the state police, okay? The reason I'm stopping you is because I observed you not wearing your seatbelt. Oh, you did? Yes, sir. Do you have your driver's license? What's on my phone? Sorry, okay, that's fine. You mind grabbing your phone for me? And I asked why you asked me to step out? That's our policy with state police, yes, sir. And it's been backed by the DA's office, okay? Okay. Let me pull my ID up. Hold on. You need your hand on your guy? It's just a comfortable position for me. Oh, it makes sense to you. It makes sense to you. Yes, sir. Is that your daughter? She's cute. My goodness. Is that a professional question? You already lied and said you observed me without my seatbelt on. Yes, How, when you seen it? Right there at the uh, red light. Can your yeah. camera see it? Can my camera see it? Yeah. I don't know what my camera can see. How far you request it? We'll find out. My camera probably saw you put it on while I was behind you. I doubt it. Can I give you my name? Same time for me back here at the back of your car for me, right? That's not you, though. I've been stopped a whole lot of times in my life. Yes. Being asked to get out of the car. Oh, really? Yeah. Have you ever been stopped by the state police? Yeah. Okay, well, that's our policy. So yeah. maybe if you were in a position where it wasn't safe to stop. Uh, uh, Y'all policy car, is it constitutional? Like, what? Yes, sir. It's been backed by the DA and the Supreme Court of Louisiana. Yes, okay. sir. Okay. All right. And I'll you, find out. You, I, 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 might not, I might not know. You might be right, yes, but I, I definitely will educate and, uh, myself. I'll, I'll be able to give you the phone number. That way you can call my sergeant if you like right. my supervisor. Yeah, I'd like and to get him out here now. No, sir, we don't we don't we don't call him out on request. I'm supposed to. No, sir, not on request, no sir. The man quickly realized the kind of cop he was dealing with, so he decided to ask him to call his supervisor. However, the officer claimed that their department doesn't call supervisors just because someone requests it. Of course he chalked it up to department policy again. I'm not sure who this officer works for, but it sure seems odd that his department operates so differently from what's typically expected, doesn't it? But that wasn't even the worst part. The man accused the officer of lying about seeing him drive without a seatbelt. Naturally, the cop had no evidence to back up his claim. Given the officer's behavior up to that point and his knack for making up department policies, it wouldn't be surprising if he had just made up the whole seatbelt story. Despite this, the cop didn't listen to the man's objections and started writing out a ticket anyway. One major question remains. How could the cop have possibly seen that the man wasn't wearing his seatbelt if he was on the other side of the street and the man was driving by? What, does the cop have x-ray vision that could see through cars? Yeah. But, uh, you when when I feel like you lying and saying that you seen something that you didn't and pulling me over for nothing, and I don't feel like it's a constitutional yes. stop, you are supposed to call your supervisor out, but you don't have well, to. That's for, What's your name and badge number? I'm right by Trooper Stutz with Louisiana State Police. Sir. All right, thank you. Yes, sir. Same time for me, all right? Yes, sir. You say you're not going to get your supervisor out here? I 
I, I want you to know I um I record my whole life as it goes. Uh -huh. My good. camera know I had my seatbelt on. Okay. You pulled me over unconstitutionally and you refused to get a supervisor out here. And I know you know you're supposed to. So I'll just drive right on down here and see who I can talk to about that. Yes, sir. I'll give you the address of our... I already know it. Okay. Good. Your camera on? Yes, sir. It is. Both cameras. All right. Make sure I get out. Let get you lying. Voice and, and audio. Or audio and video, okay? All right. Yes, sir. I want. I want to know how. I want to know how you saw me with my seatbelt off, and you, you was on the side of me at the light. I was yes, pulled sir. in front of you, and you you went to hop right behind me as soon as I turned. Yes, you almost because, hit me. No, sir, I did not. Yes, you did. All right, let me explain the citation to you, okay? Be I don't need you to. For no seatbelt? Yes, sir. I'm required to explain the citation to you. And you're required to get a supervisor, but you didn't do that. And if you want to contest the citation, it's going to be 12, 15, 22 at 9 o'clock in the morning. If you don't want to contest the citation, take care of it by before this date. Otherwise, they'll suspend your driver's license, all right? Phone number you can call is going to be 965 3425. Call that phone number, give them the number on the side of the citation. Uh -huh. And then they'll be able to uh, tell you how you can take care of it, all right? We'll be about the budget. I'll ask you one more time. Okay? Can you get a supervisor out? No, sir. Sign right there. Do I Sign have to? It's not an admission of guilt. No, sir, you don't have to. All right, then. You know Sign how this is not an admission of guilt. Just acknowledging that you understand the citation. You're not going to sign? Only under threat of arrest. That's it. I'm not being threatened to be taken to jail, no. No, sir, you will not be arrested for it. All right. I'll definitely be in court. I'll see you there. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate everything else y'all do. Well, I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Next up, we're dealing with some cops who insisted that a person needed to back off to make them feel safe. How on earth can cops feel threatened when they're fully armed and surrounded by their fellow officers who are also armed? Plus, it was them who approached the man, not the other way around. If they were truly uncomfortable, they had every right to walk away, right? It turns out two cops were discussing something about the man, and naturally, he wanted to listen in to ensure they weren't spreading any falsehoods about him. But then a third cop stepped in front of him, spitting a tale about needing space for their safety. Even though the man was just in a parking lot, this cop claimed it was private property. But where were the signs to prove that? Is that your car? No. Okay. I'm just having backup for well, I have to be able to hear what they're saying. Okay, well, we don't want to get any closer for their safety, okay? Well, well, gotcha. Yeah, I'm not getting any closer. I just want to get close enough to hear what they're saying. Okay. Right. And talking to you right now is blocking what they're saying, so I'm just trying to hear because I don't want any weird lies. I don't know what's going on. Like, okay. This is new to me. Like, I don't know about this stuff. Do you have some business here at the... Yeah, yeah. And I've explained it, and I don't know what the problem is. What is it that uh, we can help you with? Nothing. Nothing. So what the... This is a city facility and they do have uh, other uh, offices. We can make folks in the right direction. It's open to the public, public, right? Uh, not entirely. There are some areas that are obviously uh, closed off to the public. Yeah, like fenced areas? Yeah. Yeah. And some parts of the building and stuff like that. And I haven't been to those. So. When you walk into the parking lot, there were no trespassing signs. Right. No, there was no no trespassing yeah, signs you walking walk in up, here. You walk up to the gates where they have the sign posted. Uh, well, I went through there and it's not posted. I can tell you that much. Okay. I have pictures of it because I took pictures of those signs as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm just taking pictures of stuff. I don't understand what the problem is because this, this is weird. Okay. So. Well, uh, what's your first name, sir? Well, I mean, I, the same thing I asked her. Do I have to give my name? Because if I don't, I don't. I don't know how that works. But if I don't have to give my yeah, name, I don't want to. Well, I mean, you have my name right here. So what, what is your, your name? Officer Google Lamelli. Call me Officer G. Google Lamelli. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I mean, if, if you have a first name, at least I can call you. Something. Yeah, just sir, it's fine. Okay. I'm, I'm fine with that. Yeah, if I, I mean, if I don't have to give my name, I don't want to. This is just weird, man. Okay. Well, obviously, you know, with all the stuff going on, there's a little bit of high uh, security. You know, with all the protests and whatnot, you obviously recording and stuff like that. It's, not, it's, it's, not, it's none of my, none of my business. It's none of my concern. Okay. Well, when you walk into a police facility, obviously, it brings a little bit of extra attention to yourself. Uh, which, you know, 
maybe you want that extra attention. I don't know. It, um, Most people usually. I didn't want any attention at all. I told her what I was doing, tried to be on my way, and now I'm still, I'm still here. <laughs> I've been super cooperative. <laughs> this is crazy. I don't understand like the waste of time. Well, like I said, any other time and place probably wouldn't be an issue, but you know, obviously on today's day, all the extra security from the capital and all other governmental facilities, you know. So how does that matter to to me? I mean, how how does that mean I can't? Well, because be you here? haven't really stated what business you have here. Yeah, what? Well, but do I have to though? Is that? I mean, is that a thing? A little argumentative, a little bit uh, confrontational. Oh, hey, well. The man was baffled as to why these cops were wasting his time from the start when he hadn't done anything wrong. This particular cop seemed annoyed by the man's questions, but all the man wanted was a clear explanation as to why his civil rights felt threatened. After all, why is someone who isn't prepared to communicate openly with citizens even working in a role that's supposed to serve the public? Oh, well, hold, hold on, hold on. That's not. Me asking questions and and just trying to make sure that my I you know I can what's it called flex my rights I guess they call it is not being argumentative I think you're you're stretching there a little bit right we want to ask some questions too you won't answer any of them, so. but if I don't have to that's still not being argumentative that's well, just not we, answering questions. If we questions. have to ID you you know it'd be nice if we know who you are that way we could and, say okay if another officer comes by and say hey you know John Jones here we already talked to him he's cool he can be here. But we don't know who you are, so you don't really know what your purpose is. Well, that's that's another thing I ask. If I have to get my ID, then I will. But if there's, if I don't have to, then I don't want you guys all in my business and and you know, running my name and knowing where I live and all this weird stuff. Like, for what? Well, if we kind of knew so, what business you had on the property, I, I need to hear what they're saying. So if you want to walk with me over there, that's fine. But I need to be able to be able to make sure there's no lies going on here. No, I can't. Like I said, we had a, a better idea of the way you were here, we can help facilitate that, but you're not really telling us, you just say you're going to do this. Yeah, I don't, but I don't have to. I don't feel like telling you guys, I don't feel like being harassed, I don't know. It's weird. And you, you neither do you guys, right? <laughs> you don't have to be messing with me. There was no... This is not your property, I said the same thing, this is public property. Well, you got you guys have a weird sense of ownership here like uh, we, get, we we have some concerns when people walk around but it's not your property it's not your property is. that's the thing it's not you guys' property well, it's crazy to even say that it's crazy like come on it's not a house this isn't you know like are you guys really think that like it's your property and you have every right to do what you want on your property and trespass people don't you on your property on my property yes. that i own Okay. How much ownership of this okay. does the is, police department the have? And and it's and and how is it paid for? Well, it's paid for obviously with tax and federal government. Money. So then, whose property is it? Well, right now, it's the city of Sacramento. Uh, and 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 who owns the city of Sacramento? Well, the city of Sacramento is a government entity. Right, but the people pay taxes for it, yeah. and it's the people's building. So, but we have the right. To what are we doing here? I want to get back to work. For what? The, the thing that we're we're not sure about right now is due to COVID stuff. If this is closed or open and things like that, so I'm just trying to clarify real quick. What's if, if we're if we're closed, then that's one thing. If we're open, then you're you're good to go. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna go see you today. okay. It, I've already asked the question: Is is the is the development department open? <laughs> if